Thank you so much, Father Brunor. Thanks to you, my son's legs have healed considerably. No need to thank me. It is your diligent prayer that has made the difference. Be steadfast and pure in mind and spirit as you continue to pray for the health of your son. Hmm? A contribution to the sanctuary. I told you before, madam. I'm afraid I can't possibly... Please accept it. There's something I've realized. Merely praying for help is an offense to the Seraphim. It is a selfish act for personal gain. Who told you such a thing? Well, no one in particular. You'll need money to pay for your son's treatment, won't you? Use this towards that end instead, for the sake of your son. My son feels the same as I do. Everyone says the same thing. His wounds were punishment for his selfish prayers. <sighs> and there are even those who spread vicious rumors about myself and you, Father Brunor. Please, I beg of you, accept this so that we might be saved. Uh, very well. I shall humbly accept your gift as a token of you and your son's gratitude. Oh, thank you so much. Now, perhaps, these rumors will finally come to an end. May you receive the blessing of the Seraphim, Father. Right, the blessing. Guess I'll buy a drink. Princess! I'm here to ask a favor. Of me? What could I... We would like to ask you to enshrine and look after a new seraph in our town's sanctuary. This is a request from the Shepherd. The Shepherd? You mean this boy is the... Uh, forgive me. You are not to be blamed. It is the fault of the royal family that so many have strayed from the noble path. Excuse me, if I may? It's nice to meet you. My name's Saray. Huh? I'd like you to be the one to worship at the Sanctuary for the protection of Lady Lake. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused by pulling the Sacred Blade so carelessly. I know I'm still a fledgling Shepherd who hasn't gotten used to things yet, but I promise I will do my best. Yes, yes, of course. It's quite all right. Please, do not prostrate yourself so. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> this request comes from me as well. Please. Help me so that I in turn may help this inexperienced but pure of heart shepherd. Of course. I am honored that I may possibly be of service to ones such as yourselves. Though I am frail of body, I shall perform the task at hand with the entirety of my spirit. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. My foot's asleep. Seriously? <laughs> Well then, Father Brunor, when you're ready, I will come visit you again. As you wish. Do be careful. Well, that's one way to ask a favor, I guess. It was very Saray. Yes, I think this helped the priest as well. Sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Ready, Nicleo? Eagles attack while retreating. It's so it's best to aim right after it attacks. All right! Well done. Strike! It's over! Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. All is 
done here. We're investigating the collapse of Grifflet Bridge. The cause may be flooding from the rains. It wasn't caused by rain. The current is odd considering the water level. I have a bad feeling about this. You should evacuate. Finally, someone who's talking some sense. Who are you? All right. Do as Saray suggests. Saray? You can't possibly mean the Shepherd. If he is, maybe he can stop the floods. You really think there's anything that can stop the Water Spirit's rampage? Water Spirit? It's terrible! Destroy the bridge in an instant. It's some sort of monster. Silence! Enough with your nonsense. What? The water spirit. Run. That's an order. Hurry. Does this thing really look like a person to them? An Ouroboros? Why is it in a place like this? To ordinary people, it probably looks like a huge water spout. It looks pretty strong. Careful of his rising coil attacks. It spins and plunges into you. stronger as a seraph. You have more than enough talent for it. Don't push yourself too hard.
What? The Hellion turned into a Seraph? It's the other way around. Hellions that are strong enough to manifest themselves are those that were once Seraphim. A Seraph can become a Hellion? And Seraphim that have completely turned into Hellions are known as... Dragons. Dragons? Those really exist? So, then the legends were true. Uh... So the wrecking of the bridge was all... all my fault. I'm so ashamed. If you hadn't been here to purify me, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I'm really glad that we were able to save you. Um... I am Uno, young shepherd. Saray. Uno, in exchange for saving you, we would like to ask you a favor. Would you be willing to listen? Hmm? I would ask you to bless Lady Lake. But as things currently stand in that town... Lady Alicia, are you all right? I'm fine. The water spout has disappeared. See, I told you she'd be fine. Nothing can hurt our princess when she's got the shepherd at her side. Weren't you the one shaking at his boots earlier? Still, the rain has suddenly stopped, and the currents have come significantly. This, too, must be the power of the Shepherd. I always thought it was just a fairy tale. To think I'd see the friggin' Shepherd with my own eyes. Hey! Watch your language in front of the Shepherd. It looked to me like, like the Shepherd just cut right through the water spout. I doubt anyone will believe me, though. Who cares? I'd rather believe in the miracles of the Shepherd. Friggin' water spirit can kiss my hairy butt! Hey, what happened to watching your language? <sighs> so there are still people here who believe. Well, you did help me get back to my old self. Then can you help? I shall become the Lord of the Land for the Domain of Lady Lake. Thank you, Uno. And you must be the Prime Lord? You've picked a fine shepherd. I agree. Let's go. Father Brunor is waiting for us. Some of us are low on health. This power is the stuff of miracles. Hmm. Looks like he really can't sense us at all. I shall worship this sacred water with all my being. Oh, venerable Uno, I am yet inexperienced, but would that I could serve thee for all eternity. <laughs> but he is earnest. I'll at least give him that. Like a sort of wind just blew right through me. The blessing has returned to this town. This town is now under my domain. But in order to maintain the blessing, I will need cooperation from the people. Indeed, there are all kinds of methods besides prayer that one can use to uphold the blessing. Like? For example,
I see. I'll be sure to give it a try. <sighs> this sure sounds like a pain to me. I will do what little I can. Hmm? What's wrong? I can still feel a powerful malevolence. And it's not far off. It's somewhere in town. That's the royal palace. So this is a conversation with the Seraphim? A bunch of lunatics talking to themselves out loud? You are? I am a messenger from Chancellor Bartlow of the Highland Government. I have come to invite Surrey to a private dinner conference in light of his great suffering for the sake of Lady Lake. Have you been watching over Surrey? Not at all. In fact, I was quite surprised. That the Princess of Highland, as distant as her claim to the throne may be, would have relations with the Shepherd that are so... intimate. I'm sure this news will please your beloved subjects to no end, your highness. If you are insinuating that... Alicia! Where to? Roundable Palace. Very well. Tell Bartlow I accept his proposal. Please, you mustn't get involved with the Chancellors. I can feel it from them. The malevolence does seem to be coming from them. I apologize for being so weak. Don't worry, it's true. We really do want to see what's going on at the palace. It'll be our first time. You'll have to be our guide. Just as you have been to me. Time to get working on these offerings. You're really getting into it. I ought to be. The blessing has returned to Lady Lake. But now the problem lies in maintaining it. We will need to do all we can. That's very true. The blessing is preserved only through daily attention. Okay. We'll make sure we don't neglect our offerings either. Right. Reinforcing the blessing will probably make it easier for us in the long run. I wonder if he would enjoy rice balls, like in that book. You're offering his rice balls? I don't recall that being part of the Celestial Record. Oh, no, it was from a picture book. A little girl chased after her rolling rice ball and wound up meeting a seraph. That was one of my favorite stories growing up, and I just thought... <laughs> I should have known. Sounds like your kind of book. I have no doubt he will appreciate it. It's not often you get a rice ball packed with authentic emotion. I hope so.